Let's figure out which fraction here is greater, one and one fourth or one and three eighths. So here's how you do it. One and one, that's the same. So let's just ignore that. Let's focus on the one fourth and the three eighths. So if we could get the denominators here to be the same, we could just compare the numerators and we'd know whether one and one fourth is greater than, less than, or equal to one and three eighths. The way we could do that, we could multiply four times two. Four times two equals eight. And down here, we already have three eighths. So let's just keep that the same, three eighths. We can't just multiply four by two, the denominator by two. We also need to multiply the numerator by two. Two over two is just one. So we're just multiplying by one. Don't change the value, just the way it's represented. One times two is two. Two eighths, that's the same value as one fourth. These are equivalent fractions. But now we have the same denominators. We're just gonna compare the numerators. So three is greater than two. So three eighths is greater than two eighths, only by one eighth, but it's still bigger. And since these are equivalent here, we can say that one and three eighths, that's gonna be larger than one and one fourth. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.